Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's pretty hot in the Linux community, distro hopping. For those who don't know, distro hopping is when you frequently switch from one Linux distribution to another, always in search of the perfect fit. But before you make the leap, there are a few things you should consider. So, let's talk about the five things to consider before distro hopping. First up, let's talk about why are you considering switching your Linux distribution? Are you looking for better performance, more features, or maybe a different user interface? It's important to identify your goals because different distros are tailored for different purposes. For example, if you need a stable system for work, you might consider distributions like Debian or OpenSUSE. These distros are known for their robustness and long-term support, making them great for professional and development environments. But if you're looking for the latest features and don't mind a few bugs, then something like Arch Linux or Fedora might be more up your alley. Arch Linux offers a rolling release model, providing cutting-edge software, while Fedora is known for its innovation and strong stance on open source. Having a clear purpose will help you choose a distro that meets your needs and save you from unnecessary frustration down the line. Next, we have, before you jump to a new distro, it's crucial to check if your hardware is compatible. Not all Linux distributions support the same hardware out of the box. Some might have excellent support for newer hardware, while others might be better suited for older machines. For instance, Ubuntu and its derivatives tend to have good hardware support, making them a safe bet for most users. They come with a wide range of drivers pre-installed, which means less hassle for you. On the other hand, more niche distros might require additional tweaks and manual driver installations. Make sure to check the distro's hardware compatibility lists or forms to see if your components are supported. This step is essential to ensure you don't end up with a non-functional system after installation. Moving on to number three. One of the strengths of Linux is its vibrant community. When choosing a new distro, consider the size and activity of its community. Larger communities can provide better support, more tutorials, and quicker responses to your questions. Distributions like Ubuntu, Fedora, and Arch Linux have large, active communities. If you encounter any issues, you're more likely to find help quickly through forums, wikis, and dedicated support channels. These communities are incredibly valuable, especially for new users, as they offer a wealth of knowledge and resources. On the other hand, more niche distributions might have smaller communities, which can make troubleshooting more challenging. Smaller communities might not have as many resources, and finding help could take longer. Now, let's talk about every Linux distribution has its own learning curve. Some are user-friendly and great for beginners, while others are more complex and aimed at advanced users. For example, Linux Mint and Zorin OS are known for being beginner-friendly. They offer intuitive user interfaces and come with a lot of pre-installed software, making the transition from other operating systems smooth. On the other hand, distros like Gen2 and Arch Linux require a deeper understanding of Linux. Arch Linux, for example, starts with a minimal base system, and you build everything up from there, which can be a great learning experience but also quite challenging. Be honest about your own skill level and how much time you're willing to invest in learning a new system. If you're just starting out, it might be best to stick with a more user-friendly distro until you're comfortable enough to tackle something more complex. Remember, the goal is to be productive, not to spend all your time troubleshooting. Last but not least, we have different distributions come with different sets of pre-installed software and repositories. It's important to check if the software you need is readily available and easy to install on the new distro. For example, Ubuntu has a vast repository and great support for PPAs, personal package archives, making it easy to find and install most software. This can be a huge time saver. On the other hand, some minimalistic distros might require you to manually compile software from source, which can be time-consuming and tricky if you're not familiar with the process. Checking the availability of your essential software beforehand can save you a lot of headaches and ensure you can continue working without interruptions. So, there you have it. Five things to consider before you start distro hopping. Remember, the goal is to find a Linux distribution that fits your needs and helps you be productive. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more Linux tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and happy distro hopping!